everyone. And thank you for being part of such an important milestone for our fifth grade students. Students, as the superintendent of this amazing school district, it is my honor and privilege to say a few words to you today to celebrate your achievements and wish you well as you embark on your middle school journey. I know this is a very exciting time for each of you, and it should be. Your teachers and parents have done their best to provide you with a foundation to help you be successful in middle school. As part of your elementary experience, in addition to learning academic subjects, you have learned responsibility, respect for others, and what it means to be a good person and a productive citizen. I have no doubt that if you continue to practice these things, you will excel in middle school and beyond. I look forward to seeing all that you will achieve in middle school and beyond. Hi, fifth graders, it's Mrs. Roman. Congratulations on your moving up ceremony. I wish we could be doing this in person because I'm so truly proud of each and every one of you. You have done such an amazing job this year, showing tremendous growth and maturity and independence, especially during distance learning time. You have grown into beautiful young ladies and gentlemen, and you have made my first year at school to such a memorable one. Each and every one of you will always hold a special place in my heart because of that. Please come back and visit us next year. I want to hear all about middle school. I am so confident that you will all do so well and so amazing. I am truly proud of all of you. You will always have a home at school number two. So please do your best. The future is what you make of it. You are all destined for greatness. Congratulations. Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Latrace. I know that this year's moving up ceremony is different from what you expected when you started fifth grade in September. However, I am still proud of all of you for accomplishing everything that you did this year. You overcame a lot of obstacles and have become better students because you are able to transition from in school learning to online learning and still uphold your responsibilities. I'm proud of you for asking questions. I'm proud of you for continuing to do your best work despite us not being together. I wish you all the best luck in middle school. I know you will be great. Remember what I always tell you, always ask for help and stand up for yourself. Make sure that you are getting what you need out of your school experience. I know that you'll be great. I'm going to miss you so much and I hope you come and visit me next year. Good luck and congratulations. Hello fifth graders. Congratulations on moving up to the middle school. I'm so excited for you. I just wanted to take a moment to tell you how very proud I am of each of you. It seems like the first day of fifth grade was not so long ago and we have just met and yet here you are, you've grown, you've matured in so many ways, um, it's just amazing. You know, each year I look forward to a new group of students, um, not only to teach but to learn from. I've committed myself to being a lifelong learner. What's a lifelong learner? Well, a lifelong learner is someone who learns for the rest of their life through experiences, through classes, through meeting new people and sharing their experiences. This year was very different for all of us um, and it really challenged us to tap into our resiliency and to prove our resourcefulness and yet despite all the challenges that we faced this year you have all risen to the occasion and you remained eager to learn and I am just in awe of you. Your tenacity, your ability to stick to it is an inspiration to me and a valuable life lesson. Um, you have taught me to keep going push through and keep learning regardless of what's happening around you. So as you move up to the middle school, I extend a huge thank you for that life lesson and in exchange would like to extend a bit of advice. Be mindful, be kind, especially to yourself. Always do your very best, never ever settle and keep learning. Be a lifelong learner. 
I look forward to seeing the wonderful lives you're going to build. I know that you will all be a great success. Congratulations, fifth grade. Hi everyone, it's Miss Arif. On this day, you're being honored for a job well done. Your accomplishments have led you to this wonderful celebration. You are now moving on to new adventures. Your teachers are immensely proud of you. Years from now, when you think of your time at school too, I am sure your memories will be happy ones and a source of pride. As you move up to the middle school and meet new teachers and friends, you are wished many amazing experiences. Congratulations on your achievements and best wishes always. Serene Abda Monem. Yusuf Abaromi. Abraham Amaro. Isabella Arca. Vivian Augustowitz Xavier Aviles Gabriela Ascata Zainab Balki Nicolette Barbagallo Alexandra Bartnick Kayla Bautista Natalie Bazelar Thomas Bell Jude Bells Sophia Kasiba Jonalix Sapeda Randil Colon Jack Cotronio Josie Crawford Alexander Cruz Christian David Paloma de la Hoz Luke Eisenmenger Nicholas Esperancia Brendan Chase Estevez Redula Shriya Gandhi Angel Gonzalez Christian Green Christian Hanley Tahabia Harb Fati Isanowski Evan Jose Nicholas Capel Aylin Kara Elise Kaufman Ellen Coe Serhat Kose Carolina Kuczewski Lawrence Lala Sydney Lala Nguyen Lee 
Emily Marlaz. Dylan Mattis. Dylan Murray. Matthew Olea. Leashley Oldfield. Cameron Oliver. Adam Omar. Ramon Ortiz. Nasir Pasmino. Amanda Pinnock. Jared Polanco. Abigail Prowitz. Ayan Kareshi. Ezekiel Ramos. Angel Ramos Altagracia. Evitney Reyes. Samantha Reyes. Lila Rivera. Jameson Salazar. Jenna Sala. Aiden Santiago. Adi Shaw. Caden Slade. Zachary Soltis. Rafael Soriano. Daniel Syed. Seiza Taski. Faith Valdivia. Isabella Valdivia. Elijah Valentin. Jaden Walker. Andrew Wojcik. Sophia Zeisel. It gives me great pleasure to celebrate all the achievements of this fifth grade class today. In September, you will move up to the middle school, which will require you to be even more diligent in your schoolwork and behavior. You will continue to be held accountable to higher standards as you move through your middle school experience. I am confident you are ready to meet the challenges next year will bring. Your parents, along with the teachers at school too, have nurtured and prepared you for your next exciting experience. You are an extremely talented group of students. Some of you are fine athletes who excel at hockey, soccer, swimming, and baseball. Many of you are excellent students and avid readers. Some of you are gifted with the ability to play an instrument, sing, or dance. Many of you have shared your ability to care for each other by serving as safety patrols this year. My challenge to you as you prepare to leave school too is to take your talents and gifts and continue to use and develop them. I challenge you to be true to yourself as you continue on your educational journey and work hard to achieve whatever you set out to do. Your parents will continue to care for you and help you as they are best able, but you will have to take responsibility for your education and putting your gifts to use in a productive way. It is you who must decide to be the best student and best person you can be and work tirelessly to make that happen. It is you who must decide how to best take care of each other and treat each other as you would want to be treated. It is you who must choose to be a leader and stand up for what is right instead of just being a follower. If you can do those things, you will have great success and continue to be a lifelong learner. Parents, thank you for the privilege of allowing us to educate your children during their tenure at school too. 
You were their first teachers and you will continue to guide them as they continue with their education and as they become teenagers. Remember to support, love, and guide them as they move to their next phase in life. Thank you to all the School 2 teachers and staff who have helped this group of students achieve both academically and socially. We have spent the last six years together at School 2. I have spent countless hours talking with you, helping you, and guiding you. I consider you to be my children as well. I want to wish all of you the best in the next step of your journey. Remember, be involved, be tireless in your studies, and most importantly, be good.